We're going to demonstrate assembly of our Profile 375 and 675 series frames. The frames share the same components, so the assembly process is the same, and we're going to use the 375 frames in this example. We're going to take our print, position it on the smooth side of the backing, and put the glass cover over it. You'll notice that the backings are grooved for clip frames. Uh, these work just as well for the profile frames. We won't be using the grooves, though. We now proceed to install the corner clips into the moldings. Now, it's important to notice that the corner clips have these little raised nibs on one side. Those nibs have to engage in the oval cutouts, just like this. So the corner clips slide into the back channel. You can see the nibs there protruding. They have to go into the oval cutout when they're pushed into place, like that. And that will lock it into place. And here you can see that the corner clips go in the back channel and the front channel is free for the image assembly. Now we're going to install the four corner clips on either the long moldings or the short. In this case we're going to install them on the long ones. It doesn't really matter as long as we just stick to one size. There we go. We're now going to proceed and assemble three sides of the frame. Same technique, the corner clip has to slide into the back channel of the molding in such a manner, manner that the nibs engage into the oval cutouts and lock into position. There we go, the three sides are all locked in. We're now going to slide the image assembly into the front channel of the moldings. So like this push it all the way down. Now we have to work it into position because that flange in between the channels actually acts as a bit of a pressure spring to keep the whole assembly nice and tight. There we go. And we're now going to install the fourth and final molding. Same technique. The corner clips slide into the back channel. Push it down work the image assembly into the channel until we can snap those clips into the oval cutouts. There we go. And lock it into position. The frame is now completely assembled and locked into position. The frame hangs from the corner clips. You'll see a sawtooth pattern on them. Allows for a bit of leveling adjustment. And we're going to show you the precision of the corner miters. These are actually they're perfect corner miters. This is a very high precision engineered system and the tolerances are very high. You can see they're absolutely perfect and we're ready to hang.